whenever he was three years old and he would sit on the couch and he was having trouble sitting still. Well, one day it was so bad he was literally trembling. So we had taken him to the doctor and they'd ran several tests on him and determined that it wasn't anything really, really serious, but that he was extremely, extremely hyperactive. The problem was is that if we put him in like their, their Pee Wee League baseball or anything like that, it, it met three times a week for 45 minutes a day. There wasn't any way to get actual exercise on the level that he needed. I know families that have gone through hardship. This is something we've elected to do. So by no means would I ever diminish anybody's, you know, situation by saying what I go through is a hardship. But this is something we're all on the same page with. Andre's on the same page, Ken's on the same page, I'm on the same page. So it's still, even though we're a world apart, we're still very much a close unit and we're working for the same goal. I really, really uh, lean on my wife a lot. So whenever we were talking about coming over here, I was really at the point where I'm like, I don't, I don't think I could do it. And, and she was very much like, this is something that, you know, it's, it's a great opportunity and he has to go. You really have to, have to take him. You know, it's been kind of, I think, a little bit of a rocky start for him. He, uh, obviously, he looks very, very different. And his Chinese probably wasn't at the level that it needed to be for before he entered the, uh, the classes. So, um... I think whenever he very first came in, he, he felt very much as an outsider. 